Teen Challenge is a Christian, abstinence-based drug and alcohol rehab program. It's there to help young people that are caught up in drug and alcohol addiction and other life-controlling problems. We're there to actually see young people set free from these addictions and we want to see them live positive lives and be positive influences in their world. Yes, I grew up in a, um, in a, what I believe was a loving family. Um, at uh, 13 years old, um, my mum told me, uh, she said, never, um, never touch drugs because it will leave it harder stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone, um, you know, uh, doing hard drugs and putting needles in their arms. It was just horrifying to me. But by the time I uh, hit 14, I started drinking smoking uh, marijuana as most of the kids in our area at the time we thought it was it was great everybody else was doing it and, um, and I really thought I had something in mind. Drug taking and drinking uh, uh, started affecting people around me, my family, um, my friends. Um, my character was changing dramatically. Um, I was becoming violent and angry and, um, and a lot of frustration and things in my life. And uh, that just went uh, from bad to worse. So often, in life and in society now, we see people that are held down by so many different issues, whether it's drugs, alcohol, bad relationships. These things can tend to, I guess, grab onto people and hold them down in their lives and, and cause problems so that a person will only be able to, I guess, just get to one level in their life and just exist there instead of really experiencing life for what it should be. Um, when you're a drug addict or an alcoholic, you tend to make promises that you can never keep. And your family and your loved ones, your spouses, your parents, your kids, all want you to be able to keep those promises. And the only promise you can keep is to the substance that you're addicted to. And one day after coming out of a rehab I was kicked out of, I was pointed to Team Challenge. Uh, I've done 25 detoxes. I've tried six worldly rehabs. And I said, oh, I've had enough. I want a better life. I looked at how others lived uh, with, with cars and jobs. And uh, I started to realise it was my drug and alcohol uh, taking uh, that was uh, destroying my life. And I met a fellow and he told me about Team Challenge. Um, I've actually uh, been volunteering at Team Challenge now as a worker for almost 21 years. The principles, the ethos, the ethics that are behind Team Challenge work. And not only do they work, they're not temporary, they last. We'll give them every assistance we can. Uh, and it's our joy, actually. We, we take great pleasure in seeing them uh, discover things about themselves and realise that life doesn't have to be the way they've been living it. Since I've been with Teen Challenge, my life's changed incredibly. Um, when I finished, I actually continued to work within Teen Challenge and to volunteer for the organisation. I'm a teacher within the program that I came through. I'm associate pastor of our church within Teen Challenge now. And about four years ago, I did something that I, I could never get my head around really ever happening in my life because of where I'd come from and the things that had happened to me. But I actually got married. Um, I've, I've got a beautiful wife now. We've got two absolutely marvellous kids and my life's changed a whole heap from what it was thanks to Teen Challenge and actually being able to meet and connect with God in a, in a real and meaningful way through that. Teen Challenge has supported me through the brokenness of, of what I've been going through. Uh, they offer uh, a bed here they offer meals here. Because I hadn't eaten properly for a long, long time. I was skinny, 
I was withdrawn. I was angry. Often life as an addict or a substance abuser is all about me, me and taking. And uh, we, we aim here to show that it's better actually to give than to receive. It's easier said than done. I mean, to just stop using drugs, it's a habit. There's all different levels to it. So you, you've got to um, first deal with the physical addiction, and then you've got to deal with the mental addiction, and then you've got to deal with the problems that come from it. At the rehab, it's a 12-month plus program, and they deal with the deeper issues than the problems that the people have. Because the drugs and the alcohol are just like the surface, they're the um, byproduct of the problem. The problem is a lot deeper, and we work to deal with those deeper issues in life. Um, but a lot of these guys come in and have got stuff they haven't dealt with for 15, 20 years and they've used the drugs and the alcohol as a, um, I guess, a, a band-aid or a covering for um, so they don't have to face up to it. Every kid here that comes through over the years deserves someone to believe in them, somebody to see the potential in these kids. Media Edge is a, the major media buying company in South Australia and it's part of a global network. Um, we didn't want the situation where we were a, a typical corporate that maybe just handed over a cheque or had a fundraising dinner and then we all walked away feeling warm about ourselves. We wanted to get involved on a specific um, day and have an ongoing relationship with Teen Challenge. It's been a great experience for Media Edge and we're looking forward to the ongoing experience and the ongoing support. <laughs> and to any parent that has laid awake at night thinking, gosh, my kid's into dope, my kid's into speed, my kid's into drama, no matter what it is. I don't have a clue how to help them. Teen Challenge has got some of those answers. Out there, I was nobody. But come to Teen Challenge, come to God, I was somebody. You know, I still struggle, I still have pain but I can cry out. I've got my life back, I, I've got my joy, um, I've got peace in my life, and I feel like I've got a real purpose in life and a future. Um, I've been starting paid work again, and um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm really grateful for um, all the people involved in Teen Challenge that have um, really um, laid down their own lives and agendas uh, to help people like myself to, um, to um, get their lives together again.